So, new Dragon Prince season. Let's talk about that. Obviously, this video will include spoilers up until the end of season 3. For some general context, I suggest you go back and watch my video from about 8 months ago about Soren becoming disabled for like a split second before Claudia forced a cure onto him using dark magic. I did mention I would be coming back to this no matter which direction things went, so here I am. Firstly though, they gave us another canonical gay couple. And this time they're both actually still alive. Kind of. Runan is trapped in a coin, which means the magical metal water lily that is supposed to float if he lives and sink if he dies doesn't know what the fuck to do with itself. So it's just kind of hanging out far enough below the surface that everyone, including his husband, thinks it's sunk just like the rest. So, you know, fingers crossed for a happy ending for them and all that. Seriously though, their farewell kiss is such a soft, tender thing, and I'm gonna fucking cry. Athari thinks Renan is dead, and this is simultaneously my favorite and most hated trope. I can't take it. So now, back to the actual topic of this video. It is with a heavy but unsurprised heart that I must inform you all that I have been let down once again. Because there is one kind of important thing that happened last season that we don't get even so much as a whisper of a mention of. I know a lot of important things happened this season, but really, not one reference to Soren's brief stint as a disabled person. Well, except for the very, very end of the season, and it doesn't even involve him, it's just Claudia going full-on necromancer. Well, there is one other moment where Soren tells Claudia that she's changing and tries to convince her to leave with him, where it's kind of alluded to, but that's really it. Soren doesn't seem to be experiencing any long-term effects, yet, anyhow. There were some moments in the early season where he seemed to falter a bit, but that was probably due to not being fully recovered yet. We don't even get any discussion about it between Claudia and Soren, not really. Remember, Claudia forced this onto him. She did not give him a choice. He had no agency here. She didn't even mention the idea to him before she barged in and shoved him full of magic energy. I know he didn't really have time to, but I would dearly like for next season maybe Soren to get some time to just sit down and process this and everything, because holy shit that poor boy has been through so much. Now, one theory people had in the wake of season two was that this would be a temporary thing, that Claudia would have to keep reapplying the magic like a coat of paint that won't stick. Obviously, that didn't happen, but it is still possible that the magic might fade in time. I think if that's the route they go, the first hint we'll get that something's gonna happen to Soren will be Viren dropping dead again. Because Soren was still alive when Claudia did her bit on him, Viren was full-on dead. If magic like this fades, and fucking god do I hope it does, Viren will probably be affected before Soren, despite the fact that Soren got his dose a fair bit before Viren. But that's all speculation for the future. At the moment, the fact remains that this series still has a cured disabled character walking around in it, and not a single word has been said about that fact. Which is disappointing, to say the least. It's been so good in other areas, other areas involving disability even. I would hate to see it fail so dramatically here. One thing that inspires a little bit of hope in me, though, and I do realize I am grasping at straws here, is that at a rather vital moment we see Rayla fumble with her weapons, and she seems to react like one of her hands is causing her pain or other mobility troubles, specifically the one she almost lost, which would make sense considering how long the blood flow to it was inhibited. It would make a lot of sense, actually, for her to 
lose some of the function in that hand. Just forever. So, here's hoping they do something about Soren, and maybe even that Rayla gets to be canonically disabled and still a badass, and who knows, maybe next time we see Ronan he will be missing an arm. On a final note, here are some other questions and thoughts this season inspired. Can we talk about the fucking broken Link banners? My god, what a moment. I actually got chills. Viren coined Rayla's parents. I'm almost positive he did. We all agree that Aravos is responsible for the creation of dark magic, right? That much was implied before, but I think we basically got confirmation this season. Rayla and Callum are precious, and I love them. Zim reminds me of my dog, so he automatically wins all of the points. Kasef and Sorin could have been a good ship. I was starting to ship them for a hot second there. Then Viren, ruiner of literally all things ever, had to step in and do this shit. Amaya and Janai are being incredibly gay right now, and I am living for it. Claudia is going through some shit right now. Time will tell if she continues to spiral and ends up in some kind of Azula-style breakdown for the finale, or if she will see reason. At the moment, I'm leaning towards the Azula-style breakdown as the more likely outcome. And finally, bizarre question, but I have to ask, is bait somehow actually a visandum? Much to think about. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you stick around. Bye!